From the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City, you're watching the Press Row. Press Row is brought to you by Cox High Speed Internet. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Barry Trammell, and it's time for our weekly We Pick 'em segment where we pick five college football games. You can join the fun too on our You Pick 'em contest at newsok.com. Barry, let's start. In the Big Ten, Penn State's been the talk of the college football world, so let's start with them. The Nittany Lions go to Ohio State. Who you got? Well, I'm taking Penn State. It's a fabulous matchup. I mean, uh, the Scandal Bowl, yeah. um, you know, the regal programs that have fallen uh, on in uh, embarrassing shame, although Ohio State miles ahead of Penn State uh, on, the, on that scale. Um, I just think uh, Ohio State's not a very good football team. I think Penn State sort of found a cause to play for, which is, uh, you know, the uh, the legacy of Joe Paterno. I thought the Nittanys played a very solid game against Nebraska last Saturday. Uh, really acquitted themselves well. I think Penn State gets it done. Yeah, and I'm, I'm picking Ohio State in this one. Uh, I, You know, I don't think either of these teams are great. Penn State's offense, though, really not good at all. One of the worst offenses uh, you'll see in a big-time college football program. And I still think these these guys are really. I mean, obviously, Barry, you start with the victims of the sexual assault at Penn State as the ones you feel sorry for. But these players that had nothing to do with this, you got to feel for them a little bit, too, trying to get this season in a place where they can feel good about themselves. I don't think they go to Ohio State, though, and get the win. All right, let's head into the Pac-12. And, Barry, this is a game that a lot of people will be watching around here if you're an OU fan because of Oregon, one loss Oregon is hosting USC. Who you got? I've got Oregon, but I think it's going to be a good game. The one thing the Trojans can do is match up athletically with Oregon. Yeah. We found out Stanford could not. Oregon just ran circles around them, even at Stanford. USC will have the athletes. Now, don't have a lot of depth. Uh, it's a little bit of a dysfunctional program with the Lane Kiffin transition, but they do have ball players still at, uh, at L.A. I think Southern Cal plays them tough, but I think Oregon wins. Yeah, I, I think this is a much better athletic matchup than we saw last week when Stanford played Oregon, but I'm going with Oregon too. I think the Oregon offense a little bit more refined than USC. I think the Oregon defense better than USC's defense right now. But this is a matchup that will be fun to watch because I think there's going to be a lot of points scored, Barry. I just think Oregon's going to have a few more at the end of the day. All right, let's head into the Big 12 for our last three games. The first one, Barry, your favorite, Bill Snyder, goes to Texas to play Eh, not a favorite around here, but Mac Brown, K-State at Texas, who you got? Well, I mean, the Longhorns are a nine-point favorite, and the reasons are people are idiots. <laughs> I mean, has not Kansas State proven that it's a solid football team? Has Texas not proven that it's just so-so? Now, maybe you can say, uh, you know, at, at Austin it's a toss-up or something, but nine, nine points, points now. it's crazy. Kansas State's a solid football team. Just week in and week out, they produce. I'm taking Kansas State. I think Texas is just sort of so-so. They're six and three, but they could lose out. You're looking at a mediocre football team in the Longhorns. Yeah, I, I like K-State in this one too. Don't understand why uh, the point spread is what it is, other than as Barry said, people are morons sometimes, but definitely think Kansas State is the better team in this matchup. Look at what they did uh, in the last couple weeks. Obviously, they lost to Oklahoma, but hung with them for a half. Then they go to Oklahoma State with the epic battle against the Cowboys. Then they come back against Texas A&M, win in multiple overtimes, Barry. This is a legitimate football team. I think they have no – they're not, they're not going to blink when it comes to going to Austin and playing the Longhorns. I really like K-State in this matchup. All right, last two games involve our in-state Big 12 teams. Oklahoma State goes to Iowa State on Friday night. Barry, who you got in this one? I got the Cowboys. I mean, uh, I think uh, anybody's crazy to pick against the Cowboys on the road. They've won uh, – uh, ten straight road games, fabulous. Uh, they're winning each of them by a bigger, Better. bigger margin. Uh, starting with A yeah. and M and on and on. So uh, I, I don't see any scenario by which Iowa State can slow Oklahoma State. I just, I don't see a scenario where OSU doesn't score in the 40s and probably score more. Yeah. So how are the Cyclones going to keep up with that? I don't see it. Yeah, I think Iowa State uh, averages something like 24 points a game. That will not work against Oklahoma State. I say Oklahoma State wins this game as well. You know, I think before the season you looked at the, the, the schedule, and the reason that this game popped out, two things, short week and Iowa in November. You never know what the weather's going to be like. Well, it's actually going to be pretty nice, Barry. 50s highs, I think mid-30s lows, so you're not going to have that frigid Iowa weather that you could have. I think to me that really plays into Oklahoma State's hands, but you know what? We saw Brandon Wheaton thrown against 40 mile per hour gust last week. I'm not sure anything could slow down this Oklahoma State offense right now. All right, lastly, the Saturday game involving the Sooners. Oklahoma goes to Baylor for a night game. Barry, who you got? 
I'm going to take the team that has never lost to the team it's playing to. 20-0 the Sooners are against Baylor. A uh, couple of close calls in the Big 12 era, one in the 90s under John Blake, one in overtime uh, in 05 with Bob Stoops. The Sooners own Baylor. They just do. It's silly to pretend that they don't. Uh, on the road down in, in Waco, Floyd Casey Stadium has turned into a, a virtual cotton bowl, half green, half red. Uh, I just think, uh, I think the Sooners are going to roll. Uh, Baylor can score. Baylor will, Baylor will make it exciting, make it fun. They're not going to make it close. Yeah, definitely not. I've seen this Baylor defense up close. Saw them against Oklahoma State. Baylor's defense, just not, not good at all. I'm going with Oklahoma in this game as well. You know, this is Oklahoma's first full game without Ryan Broyles, adjusting to life without Broyles. I think it's going to be interesting to see how they do, uh, but I think Baylor's defense gives them a chance to, to, to get comfortable with, with guys like Kenny Stills, guys like Jazz Reynolds, uh, throwing in Dewan Miller, some guys that you maybe haven't seen as much. I think this is a real help to Oklahoma, and I think they're going to go to Waco and win easily. Hey, stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.